On the table, we have Plants vs. Zombies Connects Jetpack Zombie Attack Building Set. If you are into the far future, this is the set to get as you have a laser bean and a jetpack zombie figure to fly around. What do you think about that, Landry? Landry, what is going on here? I'm a hologram. I'm from the future. Oh, okay. On the back of the box, you can see more about this set, the two limited edition figures, although it looks like one of the future zombies is just rigged with a jetpack, and he's pretty much the same as always. The laser bean does look interesting. Kind of looks like a little bit of a diorama set with a bunch of targets to hit. As always, it is the minifigures that draw me most to the Plants vs. Zombies Connect sets. They're pretty fun and some of the better minifigures around because of their articulation and style. The laser bean looks a little bit better than I thought he would in package, so that is a good thing. Uh, he's pretty uh, much a solid little uh, bean of plastic with eyes that shoot out and you get a refill. And the future jetpack zombie is just your standard future zombie with a cool little jetpack. It's kind of neat because it doesn't even attach to his zombie back. He just holds on to the handles and it attaches that way. I like the fin on the backpack. The set also comes with a futuristic conehead zombie, of course, and I think probably my 10 millionth of futuristic regular zombie. The building play set comes with about 215 pieces and the instructions are on one of those awful poster card things. Why they can't make these into a booklet, I don't know. Let's give it a shot though and build the far future. And there is your jetpack zombie attack from the far future building set. Lots of twists and turns going on, but really all it is is a little bit of target practice. The laser bean gets his shot at all sorts of things here. The two rotating zombie head spinners, and then of course the jetpack zombie in the center who is probably the key feature. And then we've got two zombies on little futuristic benches to shoot. Now, overall pretty fun, looks vibrant and colorful. The obvious flaw is we only have one extra set of uh, projectile for the laser bean. Uh, and we even have this stand here that can hold an extra eye. Uh, I guess you could just hold the actual eyes here, but 
One of the most overbuilt uh, structures I've ever seen too, by the way, for holding the eyes. So kind of lame that they didn't include more eyes to shoot with. But again, what you do here is you sit your uh, beam here and you target up maybe the cone head zombie here. And kind of like the bloomerang from the other uh, figures, you just use the power of your finger and you attack by flicking. And it takes a few shots of practice. Uh, it's not always the most effective projectile weapon. In that instance, I shot the whole beam. So overall, this set isn't as polished as the other sets, especially the Pirate Seas Plank Walk set with the moving zombies. And the moving football and cone zombie walker sets are just incredible. This set just kind of has a nice scene look focus, but not much in the world of fun play as there's a lot of targeting that just doesn't always target right. Still though, it gives you a chance for the laser beam, one of the cooler characters in the series, and the jetpack zombie's pretty sweet too, especially the spinny spin feature. And the set does terrify me of the far future. That's what I have to say about that. Oh!